Imagine if your Minecraft world had a beautiful Badlands crater, a windswept ice spikes village, or even a 228 block drop into an ancient city. Here are the top 20 seeds for Minecraft 1.19. C20 spawns you on the shore of a lake that is surrounded by loads of different biomes, including taiga, snow, plains, savanna, jungle, and badlands. I love how there's warm biomes on one side of the lake and cold biomes on the other. Head south of spawn and you'll come across a village on the slope of some incredible mountains. Drop down through the mountain's caves and you'll find a large, lush cave system that leads you directly to an ancient city. Close by, you'll notice some of the most impressive badlands mountains I've ever seen. Two gigantic mountains with a huge crater and a valley that runs through the middle. I'd love to see someone build a rope bridge or a railway connecting these mountains. Seed 19 spawns you by a frozen coast within close proximity to an ice spikes outpost valley and this peculiar floating island. The main feature I wanted to show you on this seed is very far away from spawn but definitely worth the travel. Head to this wooded mountain top with an exposed lush cave and you'll find the longest drop I've ever jammed down in Minecraft. From heights 174 all the way down to minus 54, this jump drops you 228 blocks all the way down into an ancient city. If you can find a longer drop, please let me know. Seed 18 spawns you next to a seaside village with a shipwreck, mountain cliffs, and beautiful flower forest slope. I love this spawn so much, it's so pleasing on the eye. Over the flowers in the valley, you'll see some really nice plains for building. This spot right here is ready-made for your starter house. Head to this savannah village where you'll find a truly spectacular exposed cave. This huge dripstone cave features stone pillars, waterfalls, lava lakes, and even an exposed mine shaft. I love that this jaw-dropping feature is right next to the village. Seed 17 has a village island right next to spawn with four blacksmiths. You couldn't ask for a better spawn if you're looking for some quick early game loot. I was able to suit up with full iron gear and tools after looting this quadruple blacksmith island. Once you're ready, head over to the mainland where you can take on this pillager outpost. Seed 16 spawns you in a snow biome right next to a village that is being towered over by this incredible windswept ice spikes terrain. Look how tall this thing is. Let's hope there's never an earthquake because if this thing fell, the village would be flattened in seconds. I'm sure someone could turn this into a unique mega base or maybe just a house at the very top for someone to rule over the village. You couldn't ask for better views if you chose to live up here. Seed 15 spawns you on a coastal meadow with plenty of ocean and jungle close by too. This would be a really peaceful beginning to your Minecraft adventure. Just a short walk through the woods, you'll bump into a woodland mansion less than 150 blocks from spawn. This seed also has an ancient city which is packed full of interesting features including a skeleton dungeon, a giant ruined portal, and even an exposed geode. Challenge yourself to complete this portal and you'll be pleasantly surprised when you spawn right next to a nether fortress. Seed 14 spawns you on the slope of a mountain with plenty of open plains for building. Head to this beautiful tiger forest surrounded by mountains and ocean and you'll find this absolutely ginormous lush cave. Another cave big enough to build your own underground city. Speaking of which, you'll notice there's a deep dark biome at the bottom of this cave. Head down the waterfalls into the deep dark and you'll find yourself in an ancient city that has been infiltrated by a mineshaft. If you don't like cave spiders, then you're in luck because this city also has a normal spider spawner too. Seed 13 spawns you in another incredible Badlands biome with these two amazing mountains right at spawn. This seed is also home to loads of unique villages. Here are just a few of them. Right on the edge of the Badlands, there's a double blacksmith village that even has a jungle temple. There's also a giant portal meadow village, a village in a cave, and two coral coast villages. Seed 12 spawns you in a forest of varying wood types. Close by, there's two mountain villages. The first one has great views of the ocean and a nice little valley for building. The second one sits on some frozen peaks with a beautiful meadow crater, a ruined portal, and tall basement igloo. Just over from the igloo, there's another village surrounded by plains and mountains. Here's another mountain crater close by which has an exposed dripstone cave. The cave leads you down to a large waterfall, exposed mineshaft, and a huge deep dark cave that is attached to an ancient city. There's loads more cities in this seed, but this one is my favorite.
Seed 11 has a really interesting village that has formed on the side of this collapsed Tiger Hill. The villagers have built their houses on these flat stone platforms. I've never seen a village like this before. What makes this village even more special is the scenery that surrounds it. This has to be one of the most beautiful village backdrops I've ever seen. There's a large lake with huge mountains and valleys. This is definitely a village I'd want to live in. Seed 10 is a really amazing survival island seed. This spawn island includes both a village and beach chipwreck. I love when island spawns are packed with features like this. There's also some bees flying around, a small forest, and a nice sized flat area for building. Across from this island, there's a small mountain island which would be perfect for building a lighthouse. Another great thing about this island is that there is no mainland in sight, making this a great survival island experience. Seed 9 spawns you in a flower forest with loads of flat plains surrounded by mountains. One of the mountains is a Swiss cheese-like mountain which contains a large exposed dripstone cave with a deep dark biome that isn't very deep at all. Follow the deep dark down to a mine shaft which is right next to another ancient city. This city may have never been found if the mountain's caves weren't exposed like this. Seed 8 spawns you directly in front of a tall Jagged Peaks mountain with an exposed dripstone cave that will lead you to an interesting surprise. Head around to the left of the cave and you'll find three village houses inside of the cave. It's not often you see houses this deep into a cave. Make your way up and you'll find yourself in a large meadow mountain crater with the rest of the village. This is such a beautiful area and I love how the village cave connects you to the outside of the mountain. Seed 7 has a great spawn for a survival adventure. Begin your game amongst some coastal mountains with three valleys to choose from. One has a beautiful tiger biome, one leads you to a jungle biome, and the other leads you to another ocean and a woodland mansion. I just love how the spawn terrain only gives you these three directions of travel. The woodland's mansion contains 22 LAs in one room, so there's plenty of rescuing for you to do. The seed also has an amazing windswept bamboo mountain with a great spot for a unique jungle base. Sticking with the bamboo theme, Seed 6 spawns you on a bamboo beach. Take an adventure into the ocean and you can find this large mountain island with amazing cliffs and a village. Dig down under the village and you can find another ancient mine shaft, an ancient city, a mine shaft, a village and mountains all on one island. Seed 5 spawns you in a mangrove swamp biome on a lucky patch of grass. I dare you to try and survive on this seed without touching the mud. Make your way through the mangrove and you'll encounter a rare structure combination with a village, an outpost and a ruined portal. These villagers and delay desperately need your help. The outpost has destroyed a lot of the houses. Once you've taken down the pillagers, maybe use this tall jungle tree in the middle to build a treehouse. Seed 4 spawns you on a flowery meadow next to the mountains and beautiful birch river valleys. Next to this scenic mountain lake terrain, you can find a tiger village which is situated above a surprising combination of structures. Below this village, you'll find a lush cave combined with a mine shaft, an ancient city, and a stronghold. There's a convenient entry to the stronghold right by the city center. The portal room is exposed too, which is pretty cool. To add to this seed's amazing features, you can also find a double mineshaft dungeon with a skeleton and zombie spawner. Seed 3 spawns you a short swim away from two very unique islands. One is a small jungle island that is completely covered in bamboo. The other is a small desert village island that also includes a desert temple that has merged with some of the houses. You can find these two islands just off the coast of Spawn, and they're right next to each other. C2 is another incredible multi-biome spawn that would be perfect for long-term survival. You have almost every biome available within close proximity to spawn. There's a strip of plains and forests down the middle with the warm biomes on one side and cold on the other. Every wood type is visible from spawn, so you definitely won't be short of building materials. Head on over to the jungle and you can find a double blacksmith village that is just around the corner from a woodland mansion. This mansion could act as a great central hub to this seed because it lies on a river with one end leading to the warm biomes and the other leading to the cold biomes. Ride your boat in this direction and you'll come across the snow biome. Head in the opposite direction and you'll sail past a jungle temple and end up next to a desert stronghold village. Seed 1 spawns you right next to this huge badland and forest crater with a lake in the middle which I think would make for an amazing building location. Let me know what you would build in this location. Perhaps a long lost civilization or a secluded wild west town. There's loads of biomes surrounding the crater and loads of structures too, including villages, outposts, and both types of temple. 
Not too far away, you can also find a shipwreck within viewing distance of a mansion, and if you're wanting a snow biome, here's the closest one that I could find. Please let me know which seed was your favourite this week and what seeds you would like to see next. If you'd like to continue your seed search, click on the next video.